happy Friday. Happy, happy Friday. Oh, I hope it's a good Friday. So we want to chat today about something kind of deep. It's kind of deep to talk about fear. We've talked in the past that you're not afraid of failure, that you are afraid of rejection, which is absolutely true if you haven't watched that one go back and watch that one for sure it's that's going to set you free from a lot of stuff but i want to talk to you about fear itself <sighs> so short story this morning i agreed to do something terrifying uh, i'm not ready to talk about it yet we have to keep that one under wraps for a little while but suffice it to say that it's very scary. It's very fearful. It's something that I'm fearing. And I want, while the feelings are fresh, while the feelings are still there, I want to come and talk about fear. Because I hear a lot of times, Erica, I'm afraid. Or I'm afraid to do this. Or I'm afraid to step out and do that. Or I'm afraid to approach this person who I know would be awesome in my business. Or various other fears. And while this feeling... A fear is still very fresh in me. I wanted to talk to you about it. Um, fear is normal. Fear is natural. Uh, we are biologically designed as humans to have a fear, a fight or flight reflex. That is part of what's keeping us safe and alive. You know, back in the cave days, our ancestors. You know, they had a fear for a reason. Their life was on the line. You know what I'm saying? Like, their fear was totally valid. Good morning. So, we still have those instinctual fears. We still have them. And often, very often, fear pops up when something is changing. When we are asked to change something about ourselves, think about the last time you were afraid. We are asked to do something that is out of the norm. When we're asked to do something different, fear comes in. And that is a biological response and attempt to keep us safe because our subconscious programmed long time ago is designed to keep us safe it absolutely is and we can't fault it and we can't get mad at that because it's supposed to keep us safe you know and we want to stay safe we're not being chased around by tigers and lions and bears but there are things in our current life that are that creates fear for us and that's normal and so everyone has fear but everyone has a different fear the thing that I'm afraid of this morning, many other people may not be afraid of. And if you're sitting there and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so afraid to use Facebook Live to help my business. People like me who've been using Facebook Live for almost three years, we're looking at you like, you're nuts. It's so easy. But that is your fear. And, and leaders, we have to remember, we have to very much remember that Everyone has their own thing that they're afraid of. Everyone has their own thing that makes them scared. And oftentimes we forget so very often that at one time we were afraid of that same thing. It's very easy to forget once you've grown past that. And so leaders, I want to admonish you and uh, encourage you. Not to forget that at one point you were just as afraid as that new consultant of yours to do something. It may not have been Facebook Live. It may have been something else. But you were nonetheless afraid. And so don't belittle someone's fear. Encourage them through it. Encourage them through it. Tell them, girl, I was there. Same boat. I was shaking in my boot. You know, encourage them through it. You will survive. It's terrifying, but you can do this anyway. That sort of thing. So don't belittle someone's fear and say, oh, just get over it. And that's my next point. There is no getting over fear. 
you don't just get over fear. That's not how this works. That's not how it works at all. That's not how your subconscious is wired. That's not how our bodies are designed to do these things. You're never going to just get over a fear. So give yourself some slack. You're not going to just magically, because you believe, get up. No. Oh, I have a video call. Nope. I hope she didn't mean to call me. <laughs> um, no, no, no. You're not going to just get over fear. The thing with fear is you must get through fear. There's a difference. There's a difference. Over means it's just going to magically go away and melt and you'll be fine. Through means you just keep walking. Even though the scary dark forest is around you, you know, I think of The Wizard of Oz. It's one of my favorite childhood movie. I think of The Wizard of Oz a lot. They were in the dark forest where they found the cowardly lion in the movie. The book is not the same. And the forest was dark and they could hear all the critters out there making critter noises. And they were afraid. They were absolutely afraid and justifiably so. But they couldn't just skip over the dark forest. They had to be in there for a reason. They had a reason in that fear. Remember, your fear has a reason. They had to be in that fearful place in order to find the cowardly lion. You may have to be in this fearful place in order to find a companion on your journey. Don't forget that. And so, you know, the scarecrow and Dorothy had to continue through the forest. The yellow brick road, which was supposed to take them to the wizard and give them wonderful and amazing things, took them through a frightening location. You asked for wonderful and amazing things, and your path will, like, period, take you through scary places. You don't get out of that. Everyone who's ever done anything had to go through scary places, but they had to continue walking. They had to continue moving. They could not just sit down in their fear and flip out. That doesn't work. No, and it's not going to work for you either. So move. And, and I really want to say again, your fearful time has a purpose. There is something that you need out of that time of fear. Whether it is a story to tell someone else so that you can empathize and relate with them later saying, oh man, I remember when I had to do that exact same thing and I threw up, but I did it anyway. You know, those kind of things. Your fear has someone that you need to find. Maybe it's your next companion. Maybe it's your next killer teammate who's watching you face your fear and saying, you know what? If she can do that, so can I. Maybe it's someone you'll never even actually meet, but they're still watching you. And they're still inspired by your journey through the fearful seasons. Your fear has a purpose. Don't. Try and get out of that fear because you're going to miss your purpose. You are going to miss something huge if you try and get out of that fear. And you don't, do you really want that? I hope you don't. I hope you don't. You know, Trent asked us that Empower Me Pink, you know, are you here to change your life? Or are you here to change the world? I want to change the world. And I know I'm fearful right now, but I know that there are countless men and women watching me. And I know I have, I have an honorable job to do, to show someone, yeah, I'm afraid, but yeah, I'm going to keep walking. I know someone is watching me. I know lots of someones are watching me. And my journey through fear will, will, period, will. Maybe already is inspiring someone to say, you know what? I am terrified. I really want to go vomit right now, but I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Erica did this. You know, she was terrified too. She's as human as I am. I can. She did it. I can do it. I know that, and I also know that for you. I know that for you. Whether it is a teammate, a downline, a child, think of it. You have children. They're watching how you handle fearful times. You are teaching your daughter 
You are teaching your son how to handle fear. What kind of lesson are you teaching them? Because that's going to stick with them for the rest of their life. Isn't that what you want them to learn about how to handle fear? Ooh, only you can answer that. So one of the things I like to do for me with my fear, and I had to sit down and do this this morning, was I had to ask, hang on, what is this fear trying to teach me? And so I'm sitting with my fear. And I'm just writing and journaling and letting it just flow. You know how it goes. It's just um, random thoughts. Good morning. And I was like, so what are you trying to teach me? And it just came to me that this fear is based in safety and security. And again, I can't tell you what this fear is yet. I will. You will know soon. Um, this fear is based in safety and security. And me. I need, I need safety and security. And I need to know that no matter what happens, I am safe and I am secure. And that was, you know, I've known that about myself, but it was a good reminder this morning that this fear is coming to me. This fear is coming to me because I am feeling unsafe. Because I'm feeling insecure. That's huge. And so it gives me, morning, the opportunity to address some old stories in there. Some old lies about where safety and security comes from. And that it is not necessarily from this particular area that's causing me fear. And so maybe you need to sit down with your own fear and ask, you know, what what's up dude where are you from why are you here and and see where that fear maybe originates and what old stories are rolling around in your head too because we all have our own unique and individual fears and they all come from different places yeah they're all subconscious you know that's not what i'm saying but like mine i know where mine originated as a child i know I know where mine originated as a kid. And I'm able to now because I sat down and with this fear and I looked in myself and I examined myself as to, you know, what does this fear indicate that I'm missing or that I'm fearful of? And I can go and I can do work in that area. I can go and I can talk to little Erica. Because I do this, I talk to little Erica all the time. I have a picture of myself at like four. And say you are safe you are secure everything is provided it is okay because these are bringing up childhood fears that a lot of us have buried good morning and so maybe you know if your fear is about putting yourself out there and you're worried that people won't like you or won't or will reject you as a child think about it were you rejected were you rejected as a child in one way or another? Were you made to feel unvalued and unwanted as a child? Is that part of your fear? Is that maybe where your fear originates? And that's where you need to do your work. That's where you need to go back and talk to little you and say, I'm so sorry that that happened to you. You are very much loved and you are very much wanted. and just because that parent rejected you doesn't mean that the rest of the world will. And that will give you the place, the location where your pain is hiding in your past. Because it's there. It's there. Believe it or don't, it's irrelevant. It's there. And so your fear is here to help you uncover those old stuff. That old, old stuff, or sometimes the stuff you didn't even know happened. It's, it's, it's there. And then what I keep telling myself out loud, I have to say this out loud. Erica, your miracle that you've been praying for, that you've asked for, that you've wanted, 
is on the other side of fear. So this is my mountain. You know, my believers, we all know that we have obstacles and mountains, and we're told if you speak to the mountain, it will cast itself into the ocean, right? And so this is my mountain. This fear is my mountain. This is my opportunity to go through and have the miracle that I've asked for. And I know that. I know that in my heart, and I know that in my mind. And I keep repeating that on repeat. Every time the fear just comes up and threatens to take over, no, my miracle's on the other side of this. I am going through this. And it calms me down and it resets me and it reminds me, you've asked for this. You prayed for this. It is being delivered right now. Don't you dare get in the way because you're afraid. It just, it clicks me back in. And it makes me just, all right, all right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And so maybe what's making you fearful is the prayer you have prayed. And the answer is right here. But it is on the other side of that fear. And just like the yellow brick road in the dark forest, the only way through is through. And then the last thing is do it one step at a time. One step at a time. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about next week. Don't worry about, I'm talking to myself here. Don't worry about three weeks from now. Don't worry about that today, right here, right now. One step at a time. You know, for me, those one steps look like today's sale. Today's encouragement of my team. Today's checking in with someone who says that she wants to join my team. Those are my steps today. But more important to that, my steps today also include getting this joker under control. Getting it under control. Because if I don't have full and complete control over my mind, it is going to drive drive me to depression or worse. And that's where that is my life, that's the life I live. Your life, if you don't your mind, if you don't have control over it, is going to drive you to something. And so if I don't control it, if I don't tell it to sit down and be quiet, we're okay, it's just a little fear, we got this, it will drive me down. And it will take me down faster than anything else. And so that is what I want to tell you last. Control your mind. Is it hard? Mm -hmm. Yep. Especially if you're new to this, especially if you've never done it before. Control your mind. Control it. If you don't, it will, it will take over. It will freeze you. It will make you sick. If you're prone to depression like I am, it will put you into depression. It will make you mean. It will make you act out in fear. And you don't want any of that. Control your mind. You can do it. It feels like you can't right now. But I promise with everything in me, you absolutely can control that mind. It's tough, but it is oh so worth it. Have an amazing Friday. I hope whatever fear is coming out for you right now, this will give you some practical steps to manage, to go through, and to come out and have whatever miracle you have been asking for because you deserve it. Have a great day.